This is that new hotel being built right across the street from Wrigley Field. Uh, opening day is Monday, and it's here and open just in time for that game. I'm here with Eric Nordness, our tour guide for the day, getting us ready, showing us this beautiful new venue. How you doing this morning? Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you. So first of all, the question on my mind and a lot of people's mind, why is it called Hotel Zachary? Sure, that's a good question. So uh, the hotel is named after Zachary Taylor Davis, who is the architect of Wrigley Field. So a little, uh, a little known fact about Zachary, he was known as the Frank Lloyd Wright of Stadium Architects. Mm. And he was the first architect to bring steel and concrete into the construction of stadiums. Uh, he did Comiskey. Um, he consulted on other projects around the country and was a real influential in the architecture of stadiums. Very cool. So that we named after him. Uh, this is a beautiful space here. Let's take a seat here and uh, uh, oh, check out this area. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, beautiful fireplace, beautiful area here. I'll Nicole, get right here. Yeah, yeah, right here. So why is this place so special to you? Uh, so when we were building Hotel Zachary and coming up with the idea, we really wanted to embrace the neighborhood. And so this is our idea of being your concierge to Lakeview, being your, uh, being your partner in travel. If you're coming to Chicago, we want to show you a little bit about our unique neighborhood on the north side. That's really cool. Now, if you can't get a ticket to the Cubs game or you just happen to not get one, still in luck here, though. Yeah, keep trying to get tickets, right? But, uh, <laughs> but no, if you, if you find yourself in the neighborhood, we have great views of the ballpark because we're right across the street from Wrigley Field. You can sit on the patio, even get little glimpses into the field. So if you don't have a ticket, you can still see you know, a little bit what's going on. But we have TVs so you can watch the game and enjoy a, a Cubs victory. All right, try to get a room way up top. That is the key. Hey, okay. We're starting here with a beautiful shot of Wrigley Field right outside the patio here at Hotel Zachary. Beautiful view, and when you sit on that patio, you can actually check out uh, the big game. You got that big screen right there. Grab a drink, pull up with friends. I can only imagine what this is going to be like in the summer. Uh, we're starting our Friday off right, getting boozy a little bit. I'm here with Nathaniel Brethold showing us off some of the cool features and uh, some things with the bar here at Hotel Zachary. Nathaniel, thanks for joining us this morning, man. Good morning, so, Brandon. Good morning, man. So first of all, I mean, this is like really where food and drink start for this hotel, right? Yeah, that's absolutely it. You know, um, we, we designed this to be the living room of Lakeview, so to speak, and this is really where you're going to start your day or start your evening. Um, you know, the gathering place, big open bar, big space, and some delicious drinks. Yeah, I, I see we've got some drinks right here. Show us some things you guys offer here, some throwback vibes, I see. Yeah, you know, how many times have you ever been to a hotel bar and you're looking at the list and you're like, I don't even know where to, where to begin with this cocktail <laughs> uh, list? Too many times. Yeah, absolutely. So what we really wanted to do is we wanted to do the subtle nods to the uh, classic cocktails, really you know, show our bartenders chops and skills of having like a delicious whiskey sour on the menu, mm -hmm. uh, you know, really decent martini, Boulevardiers, uh, Negronis, all these things that everybody, when they see it, they're like, you know what, that is exactly what I wanted. And I love that you keep it simplistic for people. One thing we talked about is your wine program and how easy it is for people to jump into that. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, same thing, you know, accessibility, you know, not a lot of stuff that you're going to see necessarily on your grocery shelves, but something like a rosé Prosecco here that you know for the ladies and gentlemen that come in here that you know are looking to enjoy a ball game but you know not necessarily looking for that beer we got you but we also got some really delicious rosé prosecco and some really good sauvignon blancs etc all right lots of great options here you know one of the best parts of wrigleyville is how close everything is into the stadium and if you're a visitor here this really just sweetens the pot check out this view from our hotel room they call it the marquee suite we got the view of wrigley field right here you can actually see inside the stadium and also you can see all the action we're right here in the heart of this town and then also the chicago skyline there as well what a view here to talk more about it eric again giving us a little bit of a tour of this hotel room so eric first of all man how big is this place really so the hotel is uh it's uh, seven stories and we have 173 rooms and we have 20 suites so we have four of these marquee suites uh which have about uh almost a 280 degree view of the city and the ballpark so you can see the style of the rooms are very residential we wanted you to feel, because we're a neighborhood boutique hotel, we want you to feel like this is your bedroom at home, but it's in Lakeview. It's very homey. I see the library here. It feels like I'm walking into someone's house. It's very beautiful. Well, that's it. I mean, we want to be your extra bedroom or, you know, the living room of Lakeview, if you will. Um, you know, some of my favorite things about the hotel and what we're doing here is uh, all the restaurant groups that we've brought uh, to participate in the development, like Boca Group and Folk Art and One-Off Hospitality. So we have some amazing restaurants as amenities. You can come here. Put your bag down. Don't worry about a thing. The food and drink are all taken care of, and just enjoy yourself. Awesome. Let's walk into the bedroom here. So I'm a guest here. What are some amenities I can expect if I'm going to be staying here for the night? 
Well, for us, you know, we have our, you have your fitness center, you have your food and drink, and we're all about just the experience of being in the neighborhood. So our favorite amenity is just, is the neighborhood itself. Yeah, very beautiful space. You got some wireless chargers here, and I'm sorry, I got to do this. It's a beautiful bed here. I've been up for a long time. Ah! Got to take a little rest. It could be Come the here. perfect spot to get your breakfast fixed before you start your day. Back with Nathaniel today to talk more about it. And there's rumor in the Alma Room. Tell me a bit, a bit, bit about it. It's got historical significance, right? Yeah, so um, Alma was actually Zachary Taylor Davis's wife. Yeah. And the one thing that we can say about Alma from everything that we've read is that she was a huge socialite. She liked to entertain. She loved to get people into her home. Uh, she also liked to go out and have, and have a good time. So when Alma was developed, we said, okay, let's let's get a really cool breakfast room going. Let's get an amazing, uh, good feel, good vibe, but also a really bright and airy breakfast room. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked a lot about all of the restaurants that we have coming into yeah. to our campus. I mean, Wrigleyville's got a lot of you know lunch and dinner spots too. Yeah, exactly. And what we don't have is we ha we don't have a really good breakfast spot. Mm. So when Alma was developed, we really wanted some something very approachable that people can come down from either their hotel room or from around the neighborhood and welcome yeah. everybody. Well, let's jump in here. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty hungry myself. Show us some of the, di the dishes people can uh, look forward to when they come here. So um, we, we did something for everybody here, mm -hmm. Brandon. You know, we have uh, something healthy start, you know, two eggs on avocado toast, uh, some stuff that you may not ever order or get at home, but an acai bowl with like fresh berries and granola. And then a familiar favorite with a little bit of a twist on it. We have a French toast uh, crunchy, so it's actually breaded in cornflakes. Oh, wow. So you get your cereal and your French toast okay. component all at the same time with strawberry uh, ginger compote. Oh, it looks so delicious. And for the ladies and gentlemen that might have gone on a little extra innings in uh -huh. the bar outside, we have a, a delicious pick-me-up for the breakfast component, a little chili killes with green salsa and some eggs on there. Oh, that'll do it right there. Like you said, great pick-me-up. Now, what's going to happen with the, for the future uh, with this area? Lots of new restaurants coming through. Yeah, so actually, uh, Mordecai, Mordecai's opening, uh, which is a folk art restaurant group. Uh, we have Big Star that just opened. Uh, Smoke Daddy's going to be opening next week. Mm -hmm. uh, later in May, we have uh, we have the Boca team uh, installing Dutch and Docks in yeah. mid-May. But we've really installed like a culinary powerhouse mm -hmm. in this whole campus. Yeah. You know, we started with Brick House Tavern, or sorry, Budweiser Brick House Tavern uh, across the street, as yeah. well as Lucky Door for craft beers. Great place to hang out. That's yeah. right. And so like, we really wanted something for everybody. Yeah. Whether you want that fast casual, um, you know, Big Star's not fast food, but mm -hmm. it's fast casual food. You can get it really quick. Right. Uh, they even have their pickup window, Smoke Daddy for barbecue, here for that elevated experience, et cetera. So. Yeah, no doubt. And it's open to the public. All of this available to you now. Hotel Zachary open now. You can even book a room if you want. But hey, come through, hang out, grab some breakfast. For now, back to you guys.